Hi everyone, uh, it's Wesley here from SurefireTradingChallenge.com. Uh, in today's video, uh, I'd like to show you how to go about downloading uh, history data uh, for your platform. Uh, what we noticed was that uh, there were a couple of uh, traders who had some trouble with 15 minute charts. Um, what actually happened was um, if the traders were looking at a higher time frame or any other time frame, uh, they would be able to see many bars uh, on their charts, right? Uh, unfortunately, what uh, what we found is that some of the uh, charts don't seem to have a 15 minute or doesn't seem to have enough 15 minute data on it. If you look at this one, you can see we've just got a couple of bars or well more than a couple, but it's not enough or it's not enough so that you can scroll back on your chart. Okay. Now, the easy way to remedy uh, remedy this is to actually download the historic data uh, through the platform. Now it's pretty easy to do. All you've got to do is come out here, click on Tools, click on Options. Sorry. So all you've got to do, click on Tools, then click on History Center. Okay. Now I chose this particular currency pair because I knew for a fact that it would not have uh, too much da uh, data, um, just mainly because I don't trade it. So um, in your case, it may be one of the more uh, common pairs or any other pair. All you got to do now on the history center is click on the uh, forex drop down list and find your currency pair. So we're using the euro NOK. Just gonna double click on that. And here you can see um, a file for each of the different uh, time frames. Now all you really got to do is download the history data for the 15 minute. Now there are a lot of different ways to do it. I normally like to download uh, from the one minute up until the monthly, right? You don't really have to do that. You've just got to get the 15 minute. But uh, for the purposes of this uh, video, I'm going to show you how I go about doing it from the one minute. So all I'm going to do is double click on the one minute and it's going to load up over here. There you go. All right. Now I'm going to hit the download button and start downloading the data. Okay. It gives me a download warning. I'm going to click on OK. And that will go ahead and download. And once that's done, we can move on to the next time frame. So for the time being, I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back when it's done. OK, so you can see here that the um, data is downloaded. OK, what I'm going to do now is move on to the five minute. I've just double clicked on it. I'm now going to click the download button. I've got the download warning. I'm going to click on OK. Right, so it says there are new data for symbol, etc. Do you want to recalculate all time frames? I'm going to click on yes. Again, I've got the download warning, click on OK, and there we are, the download's done. Now what you'll notice, or one of the reasons why I do it this way, is that uh, as we go up into the higher time frames, you'll see that the downloads become a lot quicker. So I'm going to do the 15 minute now. Oh, it's done. Let's do the 30 minute. It's done. The one hour. It's done. Four hour. It's done daily and while we're here we might as well do the weekly and the monthly and there we go that's all there is to it now I'm just gonna close this down and you come out here to our 15 minute chart you can see we've got plenty of history data in here okay so that's pretty much all there is to it if you run into this error on any of your time frames, you now, you now know uh, what to do. Just uh, click on Tools, History Center, find the currency pair uh, amongst the list, and then just go about downloading the history data like I've shown you. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, thank you for joining me um, for SureFireTradingChallenge.com. This is Wesley. See you again soon.